What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome to the channel. Anyways guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a little issue you guys probably came across trying to install Fortnite because your drive was too full. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this error message right here. So I just tried to install Fortnite on my C drive and I got this install failed error message. So pretty much, I'm going to show you guys how to fix this. So try to free up space on your drive and attempt to install again. No, uninstalling and reinstalling requires less space. There's not enough space at C drive slash program files slash epic games slash Fortnite. And that's usually where your uh, games and files get installed at. And anyways, uh, it requires 57.06 gigabytes is required to install Fortnite. And I only have 50.83 gigabytes available. And I need an additional 6.24 gigabytes, gigabytes to perform the installation. So this is the error message. I get install failed. And I'm going to show you guys how to fix this. So the first things first, we're going to go ahead and click OK. And we're going to go ahead and close out our uh, Epix engine. Come down here to the right where this arrow is. Click on it. And then go to where it says Epic right here. Right click and exit to make sure it's fully closed. And now what we want to go ahead and do to fix this is we're going to have to uninstall Fortnite again. So pretty much what you guys want to do is go ahead and go down here to the bottom left where it has the Windows button. Left click. Go to settings. And then go up to where it says apps. Click that. And then you're going to go ahead and uh, click this sort by name, size. And then you're going to go filter by all drives. And you're going to click it and choose Windows which is your C drive. And then you want to go ahead and find Epic Games Launcher and click it and uninstall it completely and just wait until that finally uninstalls and you're going to get this message to make changes to the device go ahead and click yes because you're uninstalling it and just go ahead and let it do its thing it should not take too long and now that that is out of the way you're going to go ahead and just close this window and now we obviously want to fully reinstall Fortnite on our second drive. So you do have to uninstall it and reinstall it for you to be able to do that. So I'm going to go to my files really quick. So I'm going to go to download. So I already do have the Epic installer, but I'm going to go ahead and delete it and go through it with you guys. So you guys can see the full on tutorial because I hate watching tutorials and people don't go all the way through with it with you. And it bothers the living hell out of me. So I'm going to do it with you guys. So the first thing you guys want to do is go ahead and open up your uh, search engine. I use Chrome. You guys can use whatever you use and you guys can go ahead and type in Fortnite. Click enter. And then you guys are just going to scroll down to where it says Epic Games Fortnite. Left click that. And this is going to pop up. Just go ahead and close it. And you're going to go up to the top right where it says download right here. Left click. And then you're going to choose the platform that you play on which I play on PC obviously and then Windows. Because that's what I play on. If you guys plan another device, you guys are obviously going to choose one of these, but I obviously plan Windows. And as soon as that's done downloading, uh, you guys could left click on it or you can locate it in your downloads folder, which I'm going to locate in my downloads folder, because that's usually where everything goes when you download something offline. I'm going to do that just to take it step by step. So come down here, open your files, go to downloads, and then there's my Epic installer. I'm going to drag it onto the desktop for you guys and close this. And then you guys are just going to double click. And then this is the part you guys really need to pay attention to. So usually it installs to my C drive and obviously I can't install it to my C drive because of the error message it gave me for installing it. So we're going to go ahead and change the location. So click change. And then come up here where it says program files. And you see this little arrow? Left click that. And then go to your second drive. Click on that. And obviously what we want to do is create a new folder for Fortnite where you want it to be installed at. You want to come right here where it says create a new folder. Click that. And you're going to create a new folder and just type in what you want to call it. I'm going to call it Fortnite. And then I'm going to click enter. And then you just want to go ahead and click. So I click in this empty space because it glitches sometimes. And click on Fortnite and then click OK. And then there you guys go. It's going to install my uh, second drive, which is my D drive, slash Fortnite, slash Epic Games. And that's it. And click install. And then make changes to your device. Click yes. And just go ahead and let it do its thing. And here's our Epic Games launcher. We're going to drag this down here and put it there. That's where I like it. <laughs> and just let it go ahead and verify updates and let it do all its little installing features that it does.
There it goes, verifying update, installing, and make changes to your device, click yes. There it goes, opening up the launcher, and you guys want to go ahead and log in. So And now you gotta really pay close attention to this step. So as you guys can see, it asks you choose installation location folder, which is the C drive. So you guys want to go ahead and change that. So you guys can obviously install it because we got the error message on our C drive. So we're gonna go ahead and click browse. Click on this PC. Go to our second drive, which is our new volume D drive, and then find your Fortnite folder. Click and click select folder. There it is right there, D drive slash Fortnite, path, D drive slash Fortnite slash Fortnite, and click install. And there it goes, preparing your installation. And now we should not get that error message, you guys can go ahead and close this. And full screen this, and as you guys can see it says installing now. And double check, you guys can go home right here, and then come down here where it says downloads. And there you guys go. Fortnite is actually installing now. All right, here we are, guys. It is almost finishing up. It's been about almost two hours while this thing's been installing. And like I said, the D drive is probably just a tad slower than the uh, C drive. So now we should be able to launch Fortnite. Here we go, guys. Finally. Bah. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Anyways, there you guys go. Fortnite is finally installed, and yes, guys, the D drive is probably going to be a tad bit slower than your C drive, but this is what you have to do to, if you guys really want to play Fortnite, this is kind of what you have to do to make space, is obviously install it on your second drive, and I know it's not the, it's not what I prefer to do, but I have to as well, because I don't have enough space on my C drive. A lot of stuff on my C drive is the important stuff, like my recording software, my uh, communication software, um, just a lot of the... Uh, default apps that are installed on my C drive to keep my computer up and running so anyways guys there you guys go hopefully this video was helpful to you guys and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and anyways guys thanks for watching if you guys have any questions leave me down in the comment section below and without further ado guys just make sure you guys subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications so you get notified for every single video that I upload I probably won't upload every single day but you know just turn it on and you guys will get notified when I upload and anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy, and I'm out.